Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Conclude. So, let me start with the issue of JJ. I think he, those of you who are reasonable, those of you who are reasonable uh, can clearly see that the state was highly involved in the disappearance of JJ and can clearly see that the state is trying to frustrate the truth not to come out. They don't want the truth to come out. They are intimidating JJ. And I draw parallels with the, what happened to me. I see the same way that uh, they, uh, they handled my situation is the same way that they are handling JJ's situation, including the press singers. Now, what is very sad for me uh, with many Zambians is that, many Zambians, is that, you know, we don't want, we are not thirsting for the truth. We are not thirsting for the truth. And this is where it has become very difficult, even for, for me. I'm telling you, I'm finding it difficult to do politics in Zambia because people don't want to see the truth. They don't want the truth. I don't know. I mean, for politics, when as, as long as it is, it, is, it, was, it is political, people just don't want to see the truth. And the unfortunate thing is that, you know, even those who are in the opposition, they also don't want to see the truth, you know. Such that, you know, when you see, I'm having situations whereby I see a situation and I'm like, I mean, I think the truth is this. But the moment you go the line of the truth, even those in opposition, they will be against you. It's like you lose popularity among the opposition. At the moment, the support, I'm enjoying support from the opposition. But when you give them a certain truth to say, look, but I think this is the way I see things, Ish, you are risking them. You are risking a, 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 political, a political support flight, a political, a political support flight. And then, worse off now, crawling part, crawling part, it's worse. It's really worse. You have clearly seen that this is like this. You find it very, very difficult. So it is being very difficult to be objective. Because you you you, you know you, you risk either side, you you risk uh, you know losing uh, losing people. So nonetheless, if you look at the issue of JJ, if we look at the issue of the J, whether you are opposition, whether you are ruling. It is very clear, JJ did not kidnap himself. It is very clear. But you, who are on the opposite side, you somehow, even if you have seen it at now, but feel so, but you want to find a way, you want to find a, a, a window to escape the, 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 the home of the truth so that you go into the darkness, into lying. But clearly, I mean, how... The facts are so, are, are so clear. Things, the way they have been unfolding, they have been unfolding in such a way that any common, any common sense would see that really the state is, uh, is compromised in this, uh, in this situation. Eh? Let's start with the, the issue of uh, uh, with the, day, with the day that JJ uh, got lost. When JJ disappeared, it is the police that came out to tell us the end of the story it is the police they came and they told us the end of the story before they could even inter they could even investigate they told us the end and the conclusion on that fateful day the conclusion in the first 
the communication from the government institution through the police, it was that JJ had gone to take his own life. He has abandoned his car and he has left a note to go and end his life. That was, that was the first thing. Now, why did the police reach that conclusion? Of course, they are saying there is a note. They found a note. But that was very suspicious. That was very suspicious. Because if the police, professional as they are supposed to be, or if they were professionals, even that note, they wouldn't have really considered it. And they wouldn't have even brought it out in the manner that they did. But they already sensationalized the, 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 the whole thing. They, they were taking us into the direction of that. And you know, they have kept on... But Mwandi Nine, this government, this government is just something else. You know, read that statement. He went to his other wife. For goodness sake, for goodness sake, you are saying he went to his other wife. He went to his other wife. On what basis? On what basis? On what basis? I mean, with due respect, I don't, I don't want to get personal into the, into the life of, uh, of, of uh, JJ. But so mustn't they state. What, what, on what basis was that, that statement, an official statement from the police, an official statement from the police, on what basis were they talking about he, uh, you know, he went to the other wife? I don't know if JJ has ever come out to say, I've got two wives, the way of, of Antoine Kane, the former uh, Minister of Education, Waka Ingu used to come. Waka Ingu used to come out like that, but not with JJ. So who told Waka Pokola to say, uh, JJ has got more than one wife who told them that who told them that but you see they 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 just they they were they were already making jj uh, discrediting jj they were already discrediting jj but discrediting jj that this is a troubled person who was going to take his own life themselves back up on. And that note, they don't really, it's, it's rare that you see, you find a note, and that note is what you bring out. No. Makapokola knows this. But because it was a state operative, they were, they were acting in a manner that uh, uh, they had planned. They knew, they knew this. What they told us is J.J., abandoned this car to go and end his life. That's what they basically told us. If you summarize that whole statement was that this was a situation of somebody frustrated, probably because he has too many wives, he abandoned his car and went to end his life. And the police, but the police searched around, around the car, but they didn't find the body. Because that's what basically they said. They didn't find the body. They were expecting to find the body. They were preparing us to find that we were going to find the body. That's what they were preparing us. They knew the end of that story. The end of that story was that JJ was going to be found, you know, lifeless. That is, that was the story. From there, we put pressure because some of us did not believe. I remember talking to, uh, to one senior uh, um, um, you know, citizen. And I was telling them, no, no, no. Everything doesn't add up. There is no way JJ would go and end his life. It, 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 it doesn't, you know, it, it, it doesn't uh, um, add up. It doesn't add up. Why would somebody leave a car running and going to end his life? Where? How? Eh? How? How would you just leave a car and then you go? and end your life it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense so but that is what they were telling us that because this senior citizen when i was talking to him 
He was almost convinced that JJ has ended his life. I said, no, it's not possible. Let's just demand for JJ to come back alive. Let's just demand for JJ to come back alive. I refused that JJ was gone because I knew the way they took him, there is no way they are going to eliminate him there and then. I knew. I knew the way they took him, they wanted to extract some information out of him. And this is exactly what happened. So when we put pressure, when we put pressure, they had no way but to release JJ. And when they released JJ, when they released JJ, now they came up with this narrative to say, no, JJ abducted himself. They came up with a narrative that JJ abducted himself. And now, some people want to believe that. My brothers and sisters, don't be this naive. Don't be this naive. You can't be this naive to believe such a story. JJ might have his own problems eh? from the past, which they have been playing. They have been going down into the, great, into, the, into the archives to bring out anything that will make JJ look, uh, you know, a bad guy. But surely, there is no way JJ would have abducted himself. There is no way. There is no way. But they come up when afterwards, you look at the way the minister came out. The minister came out like the police had a hand to in the discovery of JJ, in the founding of JJ. Eh? Like I told you yesterday, we have found JJ. Okay, minister, how did you find JJ? The police found JJ with the help of the public. That's what the minister said. As if the police were working together with the public and then found JJ. You, can, you could see, like I told you, that Jack Mwimbu is, is, a, is, a, is a credible man. It is just that he's working with a government that is, that is uh, not truthful. Uh, otherwise, but, but, but Jack Mwimbu find it very difficult to lie. He, <laughs> the worst liar in this government is by Jack Mwimbu. But Jack Mwimbu finds it difficult to lie. That's why each time he issues a statement, I mean, you can clearly see, you know, holes here and there, you know, and even he doesn't even speak with a straight face. You can see that really the man is struggling. Yeah? And then, okay, and look, at least Jack Mwimbu did confirm in his statement, the minister did confirm, the minister did confirm, we are going to find the the perpetrators of this heinous crime the minister said that like i tell you jack mwimbu is a straightforward man jack mwimbu is being messed up by haka inde ichirema who lies day and night each time haka inde ichirema uh, stands up to speak he just lies 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 but people like jack mwimbu they are they find it difficult to lie jack mwimbu could not ignore this fact Jack Mumbu could not lie like the way some of you on social media want to be lying. He, he clearly said it. He was abducted and we have to find the criminals. The criminals behind this heinous crime. That was the story. And then coming now Tabukawana. With his sensation, with his lie, Tabukawana has no shame whatsoever to lie. He has no shame whatsoever to, to lie. He, he, as long as, you know, he, he, he thinks that whatever he's saying, it fits the narrative, he will just say that. He will just say that, Tabo Kawana will tell you that I've seen Virgin Mother Mary. Eh? Tabo Kawana. Tabo Kawana will tell you I've seen Virgin Mother Mary and this is what, whatever, whatever. He, he, uh, just to, to set up a narrative. And Tabo Kawana has been trying so hard to set, to set up the, this narrative that JJ actually was not beaten. JJ kidnapped himself. Eh? Even when he's issuing statement, he, he brings, he even becomes again personal. Eh? His three wives have seen him. His three wives, where? From where? From where? From where? Three wives. Eh? But Tabo Kawana, even you, eh, even you, 
you were oh, anyway let me leave it let me let me let me not uh, follow the same the same path let me let me not follow the same path eh? let me not follow the same path you are doing bad things but let me not let me not also do the same thing i will i will not go to your personal life but i was also going because even you if we start talking about your personal life as a man you know that you've been tatters eh? this government of yours because you are trying to to make JJ look so bad, look so immoral. But come on, this is a government which has, you know, blood in their hands out of, because of their libido. Eh? You people, you have killed because of your libido. Eh? Even room 18 is, is right in your, in, your, in, 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 in your government. Room 18 is part of you. Eh? We, we, you don't want me to count, that's for sure. You don't want me to count. You don't want me to count. Eh? Like Jesus Christ told the woman to say that even the woman, even the man you have is not yours. Even you, some of these women you have, they are not yours. You have acquired them like property, the same way that you have acquired property. That's the same way you have also acquired women. Remember, you PND, you have got this huge, uncontrollable appetite. Since you came into government, you have been acquiring properties, you have been acquiring women like properties, and you don't care. This woman, if it belongs to whatever, whatever you don't care. And you, you want to come up and, you know, make JJ look bad by all costs. All costs. Hey, whatever, whatever. Hey, he, he disappeared last time. Eh? He, dis he disappeared. What? He disappeared. I mean, many people have gone, uh, 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 have, have um, uh, run away from, from the police. Have run away from the police. Just that me, I come out here, I talk. Eh? But uh, Kaiza Zuru, you, 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 you don't hear of him talking. Eh? It is just the time that he was sick that you saw him. Eh, eh, this one, what, what is his name? Eh, your PS, eh, Pilato, he disappeared. Eh? He disappeared. Did he kidnap himself? He didn't ki kidnap himself. So, JJ's situation has got nothing to do when JJ was being sought by the police, when that uh, deputy inspector of police was saying, JJ, we are looking for you. It had nothing to do with the abduction. It had nothing to do with abduction. Eh? But you want to bring it that, you know, this is a repeat of what had happened earlier. No. No, it's not a repeat. It's not a repeat. Then you come up now. No. Eh, eh, JJ, they organized this with Ed Galung. By all means, wanting to bring it on JJ and wanting to implicate Ed Galung. Hey, he was kidnapped by Ed Galungu. Hey, it was a, a, a plan by Uka. How? So, by Uka, they planned all that, but they even wrote a note. So, by Uka wanted to kill JJ, because if that's the case, then by Uka wanted to kill JJ. And okay, fine, like I told you. I told you before that JJ, the good thing is that JJ is alive. JJ is alive. If JJ was not alive, we wouldn't have had known uh, what happened. But JJ is alive. And JJ has come out when the police immediately after coming out of the, uh, you know, the hospital with the embarrassment that went around, you know, his uh, detention at Maina Soko because really at Maina Soko, he was in detention. He was in detention. So in spite of all that, in spite of all that, you drag him straight from, 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 from the hospital, you take him for interrogation. And whilst you are saying no, uh, JJ had no marks, give us the medical report. I never expected a medical report like the one that uh, uh, is coming out of my inner soccer. I never expected that. But those who have seen the medical report, they have actually confirmed that JJ was being treated over the injuries that he had. They have confirmed. They have confirmed. Marina Soko has confirmed. 
And if my inner Shoko has come out to confirm that, no, they actually treated him of the injuries that he had. I mean, imagine if he went to a private hospital because what would have been good is to get a medical report from the from the from the an independent medical uh, institution because in this instance government is, uh, is 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 a suspect so even taking him to a government hospital i mean it was not right but nonetheless the very government uh, institution has come out with a medical report to say no the guy was being treated for uh, the injuries that he that he had this is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.